Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com, and welcome to our San Francisco 49ers preview for the upcoming 2020 campaign. We're going to get into that in just a moment. Hey, it still stands, the $60 guarantee for when major sports get back into action, or for the guys that are handicapping horse racing and soccer on a daily basis at DocSports.com. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for the free $60 account, and then you can use those free $60 on any of the daily packages over at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. Real quick programming note before we jump into uh, the Niners preview. Uh, Rafael Esparza and I uh, spoke about WrestleMania 36. 36 years already, holy cow. Anyway, WrestleMania 36 taking place Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, both nights. Uh, we broke down four or five matches, and be sure to check out that video when you get a chance. It'll be posted by late Friday night and be up for the entire weekend. So something else to look forward to, and a couple of potential upsets that we talked about. So you know, be sure to check it out. Rafael does a great job with setting the numbers. Uh, we set them up and then we knock them down. So that'll be up by Friday night. As far as this video, it's gonna be up for a couple of days. I would imagine Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, if not sooner, we'll have our next uh, video up and we're covering uh, the division that includes the NFC champions from a year ago. We've got one team in the books already as we handicapped and previewed the LA Rams for the upcoming season. Now the San Francisco 49ers over under wins total for San Francisco for 2020 is 10 and a half wins uh, juice on the under about a buck 15 on the under you'll remember last year at this time the Niners uh, were not expected to do as well as they did uh, they had an over under wins total of eight and a half they finished with 13 wins and of course got to the Super Bowl but the Niners you know they they come into this now with a chance to repeat as NFC champions and let's take a look at whether we think uh, they will or not they did their best to keep last year's team together as they should, uh, knowing how well they played, especially up front on defense. But it's not always uh, easy to keep uh, strong star defensive players around for another year. And gone is defensive tackle to Forrest Buckner. Uh, that's a tough loss, but they've got the goods to overcome it. He had 34 solo tackles last year, seven and a half sacks, as you'll recall. Uh, but because of the money that was freed up with um, Buckner no longer being on the team, they were able to get Eric Armstead, for instance, the defensive end, to re-sign. He had 32 solo tackles. He had 10 sacks in 2019. They're going to have the explosive Eric Armstead lined up alongside of Nick Bosa, D. Ford, just to name a couple up front. So th there's not going to be a big drop off and because of the freed up money they were also able to go out and re-sign Jimmy Ward and that really does keep that A plus uh, secondary uh, chemistry flowing and going into 2020. We saw them play so well together last year in the 2019 campaign. So that's all fine and dandy. Uh, on offense, the Niners, as you know, we talked about Emmanuel Sanders the other day. They got to replace Emmanuel Sanders. He's moved on. Uh, my good friend Mel Kuyper, I did four or five years with the shows every Saturday morning with Mel Kuyper. Uh, he believes if the Niners don't trade down and they hang on to that 13th pick in the first round, he thinks they could very well draft Alabama a wide receiver Jerry Judy and if you look at what Judy did in college nearly 80 receptions last year he had 10 touchdowns over 1600 yards for the tide and that would give Jimmy Garoppolo guys like Judy Debo Samuel Kendrick Bourne to throw to I think that's a heck of a nice trifecta for Jimmy G to work with plus they got the great tight end play as you know solid running game outstanding blocking by your lead blocker in the backfield the, the question is, is how do you quantify whether Jimmy G is the right man for the job or not? You really can't. All we can say is we know that he was good enough to lead his team to an NFC championship and to a Super Bowl, a game in which they had a chance to win well into the second half. Uh, so I think you just got to go with what we've seen on the field thus far out of Jimmy G. And uh, I don't think there's going to be a big drop off with the San Francisco 49ers team uh, as far as getting too far away from that wins total. Do they win 13 games? I'm going to say probably not. That's last year's wins total. I don't think they'll get there. But when you look at the schedule, well, you do look at who they play on the road out of the division. You look at who they play at home out of the division, and you'll see it's not an easy slate. Now, I have San Francisco right now for the 2020 campaign power rated as my third best team in the NFL. 
top NFC team, third best team overall in my power ratings. Having said that, when you look at the road schedule, you look who they're playing outside of the division, I think it's going to be very tough for San Francisco to get to 11 or 12 wins. I think they're a 10-win team. So if you maybe jump on this right now, I would lean towards the under. I have San Francisco sitting at 10 wins and six losses. But this close, as I look at the schedule, and we got to see how the dates play out, then we'll know whether we think that should be increased by a game or so or decreased. I don't think it'll be decreased in any form, but just checking out when the dates come out of the schedule, who they're playing when and where, then you've got a situation where I might pump them up to 11 wins. So let's say 10 wins for now. And then, of course, as we get closer to the actual starting point of the season, we'll certainly be updating all the teams, including the San Francisco 49ers. But 10 wins without knowing the dates of those teams that they're going to be playing yet. We know the teams. We just got to see how they fall on the schedule. San Francisco, again, over under 10 and a half juice on the under. We're going to say 10 wins on this report. We'll be back no later than Monday. Might even shoot one out on Sunday as we continue our run through this division. Hope you like the videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our weekend WWE WrestleMania, WrestleMania 36 video that I did with Rafael Esparza early on Friday. It'll be up by at least Friday night. I'm Scott Spritz of DocSports.com. We'll talk to you again later this weekend, Sunday night, Monday morning.